Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel Pergamechit Bolme. As I mentioned you to in my previous video, there are three main objects in a Buddhist temple that we worship. Can you remember about the pagoda which occupied the first place among the main objects? Today in this video, I'm going to tell you about the pagodas in Sri Lanka associated with the history, shapes, types and construction of pagodas related with ancient technology. The main purpose of building a pagoda is to enshrine the relics of Lord Buddha or to enshrine the objects used by the Buddha. Other than that, construction of pagodas were considered as an opportunity for Buddhists to gain merits. Pagoda, which is also named as Stupa, Chetia, Dagaba, Tupa, Saya, and Vehera, has a great history. Do you know the earliest monument found in Sri Lanka is the pagoda? Actually, there are two records related to the construction of pagodas in Sri Lanka. During the lifetime of Gautama Buddha, one instant is the construction of pagoda at Tiriyaya name Girihanu Saya enshrining the heretics presented by the Buddha to the Birchan brothers Tapasu and Baluka in 528 BC. This is considered as the first pagoda in the world and even today the ruins of it is available at Trincomal, Sri Lanka. The other record is the pagoda located at the Mahayangana Raja Mahavihara, the Buddha handed over a lock of hair relics to God Saman in his first visit to Sri Lanka. Then the God enshrined the hair relics of the Buddha and built the pagoda. The first pagoda which was built after Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka by Arahat Mahinda Tero is called the Tuparame Pagoda. It was built by King Devanam Pirtisa in 3rd century BC. This pagoda is enshrined with the right collarbone of the Gautama Buddha. The construction of the pagoda varies from time to time and with the requirements of the design. There are different shapes of pagodas. Buddhist literature mentions us about six types of pagodas. They are Bubble shape Bubulakara Paddy heap shape, Danya car, pot shape, Gata car, bell shape, Ganta car, lotus shape, Patma car, and nearly foot shape, Amala car. Among those shapes, the bell shape and the bubble shape pagodas are most common in Sri Lanka. Here are some examples for the types of pagodas. Ruanvali Saya and Abhagiri pagodas were built with the shape of a water bubble, while the stupa at Kalani Rajamahavihara was built with the shape of a paddy heap. Bell shaped pagodas are namely Tuparame, Mayangana stupa, and Ambastal stupa at Mihintale. Upturned pot shaped pagodas are at Somavatiya and Titul Paul. Tadigama Kotavehera and Indikata Saya at Mihintalaya have taken the shape of a lotus flower. Other than the shapes of pagodas, let's have a look into the types of pagoda. There are five types of pagodas, namely Relief Pagoda, Object Pagoda, Commemorative Pagoda, Symbolic Pagoda, and Votive Pagoda. Traditionally, the pagodas were built elevated terraces either square or circular in form. Before starting the construction of a pagoda, a great care was taken in the selecting sites and laying out the foundation. Mahavansha Chronicle has mentioned how the foundation of the Ruanvari Saya was laid. First, the land was dug out to a depth of 5.3 meters and the crushed stones were stamped down by elephants whose feet were bound by leather. Then butter clay was spread over stones and bricks were laid over the clay. 
over this rough cement and a network of iron was laid. Finally, a sheet of copper and a sheet of silver were laid. By examining the foundation of a pagoda, which suits its size, one can gain the idea of the application of the science and geometry prevalent in ancient times. The base or the Padama implies confidence or faith. The three basal rings or the berms, which are also called the Pesavaralu, beings at their point of the dome, denotes the three refugees the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. These rings rising from the base gradually reduces in size. The hemispherical dome or garbaya signifies the dispersion of the Buddha Sasana. Here you can see the Hataras Kotua or tea cube which signifies the four noble truths. Devata Kotua is the next part that signifies the heavenly world. The Tapanese spires or the Koth Kerala consists of eight bands symbolize the noble eightfold path. The pinnacle or the crown, which is also known as Kotha, signifies Nibbana, the goal of Buddhism. On the top of the pinnacle, a precious crystal or a gemstone can be observed. Along with these parts, sometimes the pagoda is also decorated with Vahal Kada or Chaitigara. Vahal Kada, which is also known as the front piece, is the decorative design which is constructed at the four cardinal directions adjoining the pagoda. Chaitigara or shrine house is the one story building constructed around the pagoda. The pagodas can be categorized as Sharirika, Paribhogika and Uddesika according to the Mahaparinibbana Sutta. The pagodas built over the relics of Lord Buddha are called Sharirika Chetiyas. While the pagodas built over objects used by the Buddha are called Parivogika Chetiyas and the other called Uddesika are built over places which were made famous by the presence of Lord Buddha. Girihanasaya, which I mentioned you earlier, is enshrined with the hair relics of the Buddha. Seruvavira Chetiya is enshrined with Lalata Dhatu or the sacred frontal bone of the Buddha. Ruanvari Saya is enshrined with most of the relics of the Buddha, that is, one eighth of Lord Buddha's relics. Tuparame is enshrined with the Aku relic or the collar bone of the Buddha. At Lankarame, part of the belt relic and some other relics are available. Abhagiriya Chetya is also enshrined with the relics of the Buddha. At Jetavana Rame, hair relics, bone relics and a part of the bell relics tied by Buddha is available. Nakavehera at Anuradhapura which is in square type construction is enshrined with the nail relic of the Buddha. Mihintale Sera Chetya is the pagoda where the Urna Roma relic or the tuft of hair which was in between the eyebrows of the Buddha is enshrined. At Somavatiya Chetya, the right upper canine is available. Tiriya Chetya is another pagoda which is having 
the hair ridicks do you know that the sweat of lord buddha is still remaining as pearls my yangana saya is the place where those pearls are available kalanya stupa is the place where the jewel seat which was once used by the buddha is available buddha's bathing robe is enshrined at kitsiri mevanda gaba while maliga kanda and tissamahara masayas are enshrined with the relics of the buddha finally here you can see the kiri vihara chetiya at kataragama which is enshrined with the hair relics and the golden seat which was once used by the buddha the sword which was used by the siddhartha gautama until his great renunciation from the palace to live an ascetic life is also available in this chetiya thank for watching my videos please subscribe and click the bell don't forget to share my videos